Hi everybody, this is Agent and I'm going to be doing a Belham series. So, as you can see, I've started a new character on a new world. And let's have fun exploring this new new adventure, eh? I will be recording everything I do and play together. Hopefully you'll enjoy this new series which I'm going to be doing. I'm taking a short break from Guild Wars because currently they're busy prepping for their new expansion coming out next week. But hopefully I'll be able to play through this weekend. So, first things first, let's speak to the birdie. Just to get him off my screen. You saw I picked up my first log. And just to show that it's a brand new world. You can see, haven't explored nothing. Uh, just give me one sec. get started. So basically we start off at the Standing Stones. This is our little info guy. Always telling us where to go, what to do. That's where the first boss is, but we know when you're ready for that. Okay, let's get exploring. Uh, some stone. Always need stone. Oh, some nice berries here, right at the start. Ah, uh, this bird is here somewhere again. Okay, let's eat the berries. I suppose it doesn't matter which direction I go. Okay, the sea's this way, let's go to the sea. Okay, it's basically telling me about food. Some more stone. So yeah, I've played Valm quite a bit before, but this is just like a brand new let's play through again. I haven't really played since maybe December, I think it is. I may have hopped on in February, but I think December is like when I last properly played. So, still just gathering sticks and wood and stone. I should have enough to craft that one. And I want to make a club. Not that I really need a club, I just need the axe to chop trees. And we obviously we're going to need a crafting hammer as well. This is basically a very primitive start here. Well, oh, somebody wants to eat me. The club would actually work better in killing them, but the axe works just as well. I'm a big fan of playing with 
connects. These are like little info guides that pop up around. You can almost say they're like little law books hidden around the map. Oh, flint. Always need flint. Okay, so basically I'm still looking for a decent a flat land and gathering resources. This won't be the main base, but this will just be like a starting point. Get us going on our adventures. They do get a little bit harder in the dark, but during the day they, they're fairly decent. This looks like a pretty good place to start off. A little bit of water. Oh, and there's a little shelter here. More berries. Let's see what's in the shelter before. One last thing about shelters is that they often have little beehives in them, or they have little chests that you can collect that they hide in these things. See, that one's got meat of some kind. Uh, cleverly hidden door. Ah, mushroom. You can also eat mushrooms, they're a good source of food. But later on, you want to keep them for upgrading. Okay, so as you can see, very brand new. I just upgrade to level one. Woohoo! Surprised I haven't run into any boars. Because they're normally in abundance. There's a neck here somewhere. There's the neck. Nick is a decent source of protein for beginners. Little house with nothing in it. And there's two deer, but if I go too close, they're gonna run for the hills. So let's just see. Maybe I get lucky. Oh, that one ran. So this is as good a place as any to start off. I just want to gather these few little stones and then we're going to start building here. This is actually quite a decent spot to be very honest. It's close enough to everything. Including that guy. Boom. Smack him in the head. 
Look, more flint. Okay, so we need to get a crafting hammer. I really do not have enough wood for any of these projects, but there's my little birdie friend. Hi, friend. Let's gather some wood. I think I can destroy this. Note to self, do not run everywhere. Oh, there's some boar. Okay, let's pick these berries and then we gotta kill those two boar there. Because with their hide, if we're lucky, we'll have enough to make me a bow and then it's easier to kill the deer. Oh, there's three boar. Nice. Okay, not enough, we need one more. But we still need wood. We came here for the wood. So we just smash some trees down. I really need better tools. Is that a deer? Yeah, it's a deer. Okay, let's munch, munch. More stem. Let's try and ninja our way onto it. Ah, damn it. Usually I get these two swings in. Let's see if it runs back to me. Like they usually do. He's not having it, it's fine. Let's focus on getting our base up. Because my tools are already almost broken. Team boar with an axe. See, now I could start at that house over there, but it's not where I want to start. I want to start close to the water. Because as soon as I'm able, I want to go tackle that boss. So, to get basic building started, we need a workbench. He's giving me a whole lot of items which I've now just unlocked. Oh. Friend, hi, friend. He's going to tell me all about how to build. If you want to make like a flat surface, an uneven ground, as you can see, like this is different levels. As you can see there, it doesn't even snap in. Then you just place these pillars down. They do take two wood each, but it lets you make a flat house. 
and right now I don't have a ground leveling tool so that's perfect for my needs this isn't going to be a very big place because it's just our starting point oops I have made a mistake I have made two mistakes. <laughs> okay. Let's just square this one off. I've got to redo this side here. But that's going to break. Yep. Mostly because I've missed this pot, this piece here. See, if this piece I didn't make that thing skew, I wouldn't have had a problem. See, that? Demolish that one to save resources because I've got none. Put our floor in. And because you can't run up onto these little ledges, I'm not keeping that piece there. That's where the door will be. I don't have any wood. Nope. We need to go and get more wood. And that needs a roof to work. So I've actually got an idea. Steal some wood. So you always get back the resources that you break down, which is nice. So like this abandoned structure here, I can now go here and just do this. Some people actually like to rebuild these because it, it adds to the game. But for the moment, this is free wood for me. Let me just destroy the side pieces. Go away, go away. So now I just run over here, collect all these pieces of wood I just broke down. Chop down this tree. Not to mention it's almost night time. Pick up my workbench. And just like that, 60 things of wood. But remember, uh, 10 of it goes back to my placing my workbench again. Also, I can't build. And as you saw, workbench wants a roof, so might as well put it inside the base. Doesn't like me trying to build from solo. It's okay. that 
because as you saw it said it wants a roof before I can use it so making a quick little makeshift piece it's getting dark be a wall over here it's just I'm not there just yet like so see it's all just broke but I can use the workbench and repairing is free which is always nice and I can make a better axe than what I'm currently got So I'm just going to throw it here, a chair like this, throw it into the ocean. The reason why you throw it into the ocean like that, they decompose quicker. And also you don't accidentally run into it again. Okay, my food buffs are running out again. You can check I'm now doing more damage to the tree. Always check which way the tree falls, because it can't kill you. And you'll always get two wood for hitting stumps, and makes the area neater. for my stamina to go up. No, not in the water. Bye-bye, oh, log. Let's see if I can go save that log just now. Yeah, that looks like it's in deep. Yeah, bye bye log. That log is gone. Also, the nature does not like fire. So if you want to scare things away like that, pull out your torch. Come on, one more hit. Yeah, that's what you get, buddy. also can't kill these just yet they're too hard I need the upgraded X but I need to kill the first boss in order to get that I'm stop running everywhere I'm killing my stand before I can even use it there's a deer here somewhere Want a quick hint to see which way the wind is actually blowing when it comes to chopping trees like this? You see these lines that come across my screen? That's technically the wind effect. Like I said, chop the stump. Extra two wood and it makes the area cleaner. I don't want to damage my strawberry bushes. Num nums. My num nums. Okay, they're called raspberries, not strawberries, but 
They looked like strawberries to me. Okay, with that, we got a bit more wood. I'm still running everywhere. Uh, okay, I need eight, not four. I was mistaken. But now we can build ourselves a bed. He's going to tell me how to use the bed, but I need to make a fireplace to use the bed. So we'll make this one here. So beds act as your spawn points for when you die. rest for daytime and with that that's day one done and dusted so you also notice I just got a comfort bonus those kind of act as little bonuses you get for resting you'll notice that the top is now says I'm rested And that also helps you with learning your abilities faster. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think it's a 50% bonus, but I may be mistaken on that. Because I turned that off, let's make a little bit of light in here for myself. Okay, so we've got our bed, we've got a little hovel going, let's put our stone, height, everything we don't need to carry on us. We must always remember to close our doors as well. I do it out of habit from other survival games, but for the most part, you also get the little graylings, for example. They like to explore your base. So, let's get some wood. And I'm still running everywhere. Nice, I didn't destroy the bush. I was scared I was going to pick the bush. from the bush just so you know that if these roll back they'll still end up hurting me so we, we're gonna kill this boar over here I'm gonna kill that guy he thinks he's a big guy he wants to be my friend yeah Four. Where'd he go? Fog rolling in. Okay, I think I see it there. Nope. The boar disappeared into the fog. So 
So let's head back to our base. We're gonna set up a little fire. Well, little camp on top of the fire. What do you call those things? It's a cook on. They call them cooking stations, but they've got a they've got a proper name. So place it just next to each other so we can place two. Like so it's gonna cook all our meat for us. Now, cook meat to give us extra benefit, but later on, you actually get better foods. But obviously, we are starting off here. And we seem to have had a decent, strong start. So now we've got our meat, got some meat, and we still got our strawberries. And you can see my health bar is going up nicely, but we need to go hunt us some boar and get more wood. At the moment, wood is like my best friend. Uh, just so you guys also know, don't run with your weapons. I know I keep doing it. But you actually drain your stamina bar faster if you run with your weapons out. I'm just weird that way. I'd like to echo a bit of wood. Charge! Oh, that was a nice tree. Okay, we saw the boar in this direction, so let's go this way. Strawberries. Ideally, I actually need deer meat. Deer heart, but... The boar will do me better for the moment. to collect stone until I can actually gather stone so I hear necks and stuff oh you see there's a deer in the distance oh nice one shot So it's two deer heart, yeah, nice. You need lots of flint. You only need lots of flint at the beginning of the game. Still looking for some boar. I don't want to venture too far from my base just yet. Yeah, screw it. Let's head towards the the boss. I'm not ready for it, but it's good to know where it is, and hopefully we'll find some boar along the way. There's another deer. It's a male. Got big antlers. Oh, it's a one star, no wonder. There's no way I'll kill that one. Nice 
nice little abandoned house. Nothing in it though. Like I said before, if you want some easy wood. Uh, place that. Go around, smash the foundations. Like so, boom. I kind of hoping the house would fall down on its own, but it's been difficult. Probably because it's got the vines on it. I thought I killed you. Okay, so let's gather all this wood. And we just collect my crafting station. See, so yeah, I'm almost at max weight. Even though I've got all the slots open, they're still got a max carry weight of 300. You can get a belt later on. And the belt will give you additional carry weight. Post yeah, so it actually doesn't look like I can get to there without using a boat for the moment. No, 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 no. It's crossable, it's crossable. Okay, make sure you get enough stamina. Come on. Oh, that was close. Yeah, if you start running out of stamina halfway through, eh, sorry, your health is gonna drop. Oh, there's some boar. That's why we came here. Oh, got a boar hedge trophy. to the boss. Okay, so how much higher do we carry? We've got six. We need two more. Oh, there's another one. Oh, mission accomplished. Got my two hide so now I can make my bow when I get back to base that was our, our goal another little house here see if there's anything nice inside oh there's a chest no oh, the chest gave us nothing also if you hit control when you turn things over, it moves the whole stack. Okay, let's build a crafting bench here. We're going to repair our stuff. I'm going to leave this house here. Because I don't have enough carry weight. Oh, there's some more ball. And an annoying grayling. Actually... Oh, it's a deer. Actually, 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 I just thought of something. I should have enough resources now, right? Yes, I should have done this. Boom. Now we're just going to make wooden arrows, because they're nice and cheap. And I actually could have crafted a hoe. Then 
what? I guess I forgot. Would not be the first time, and definitely will not be the last time. Okay. Now let's pick up my workbench. We've now got our arrows. Which will make hunting deer way easier than trying to chase after them. Okay. Let's head back home. Ah, that's talking about the hoe. Oh, we got some bones, some monies. This is like a little barrel mount thing. See what's nice about the bow? Is you see that little boy over there? He hasn't noticed me. That's a deer. One shot because it never noticed me. You do like a little bit of extra damage. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Okay, but we're heading back to base now. Day one goals are complete. And it actually looks like I could have, I could have run around and not risked my life drowning. Okay. Just gather some more stone on along the way. More flint, because we need to upgrade our tools. see another deer in the distance. Nice. Don't know how I got it, but I got it. <laughs> okay, we're for the stamina bar. It's actually a sand barge, so it makes life way easier. And the biggest joke of the lot is I'm going to have to run all the way back here just now. Like I said, I'm not ready to face the boss. Maybe what I'll do is when I'm feeling a little bit more energetic and we're more further along, I may possibly just build a bridge across. But we'll see. And we still find our permanent forever home that we will operate from. I'm not gonna pass up a deer, never. No, I ran out of stamina. Would have liked all three, but two out of three is not bad. Okay, and we're almost at our forever home. Well, not forever home. Temporary home. It's actually a little bit annoying that they've got uh, these help bars at the bottom. I haven't quite worked out how to get rid of them. Oh, see I've made a crafting area here. No wonder that thingy wasn't snapping so nicely. There we go. Okay, and with that, with this adventure done and dusted, I'm going to say thank you for watching, and I'm going to stop here. We will continue on in part two.
Thank you for watching. This is Aegis signing out.